it guys currently Sunday I'm very tired you see the bags under my eyes yeah um, I'm actually on my way to my buddy Jeffrey's house we are 10 minutes out he's got a grand marquee that he bought it was already lowered in the rear and uh, with the wheel fitment and the tire setup he has on it uh, it's pretty close to rubbing his tires so today we are gonna go over there and we are going to um, roll his fenders. So, not sure on how I'm gonna film this. I didn't bring anything with me but my phone, but uh, I'm gonna try to document this for you guys and show you how to roll your fenders. Um, what we brought with us is our fender roller, a nice little pad to sit on, and a heat gun. That's pretty much all you need. I should have brought my rubber mallet, but whatever. So I will um, film whatever I can with my phone. I'm not sure on how I'm going to do this, but I'll figure out something for you guys. Ah, they hate it's, sweet. it's clean. It's probably like a three-speed auto. I don't know nothing about them, but it's clean. I tried to start one of the movies. They left it with no gas. Ah! Uh. I did some gas, and I didn't realize how it's a carbureted car. And when we're together, I'm the only one that drives. Alright guys, it took about two hours, but we got it done. Um, the fronts gave me a little bit of a hassle because the car was so high. 
the car is only lowered in the back so the um, fender roller could barely reach the fender so what i did is i put the jack underneath the control arm and jacked up the suspension and compressed it a little bit but i was able to do it either way two hours of work uh yeah pretty easy job so shout out to shelby for letting me borrow his fender roller and uh yeah pretty straightforward hope you guys enjoy this little tutorial on how to roll your fenders pretty simple uh don't be like me and use a rubber mallet on your car do it the right way get yourself a fender roller and you will not damage your body panels <laughs>